Yeah, now with pandemic, uh, digital technologies have become much more commonplace. And you know, uh, maybe a year back we were wondering how will we reach technology everywhere, and how will we make sure teachers embrace technology. Right. We find that those questions are not really the questions now. Teachers want to embrace technology because they realize that without technology, in a school shutdown situation, you can't reach children at all. Right. So, but the challenges of workable models still exist. So. the private uh, schools the middle class those uh, groups needs are taken care of but that may be 20% or 25% of the population of this country where digital technology can work for everybody now that is something we have been doing all along but in the pandemic for example we have been offering online courses using free and open platforms so uh you know we don't use zoom which we are using now for this call we don't use zoom we don't use google meet we don't use any of the proprietary tools that all of us are familiar with we right. used to create teachers groups on whatsapp but now because whatsapp is changing its privacy policies we are moving to signal so instead of uh, a tool like zoom or a google meet we use a tool called big blue button big blue button is free and open so any school or any school system can install it on their own servers The yeah. advantage of Big Blue Button is because the source code is open, you can be sure that not only there's license fee issues are not there, but data theft and data uh, surveillance, those kind of challenges will not be there. Because imagine all the data of this country being sucked by Google or Facebook or Zoom into America. You know there is a huge loss in terms of national sovereignty and national resources. So, therefore, we want to look at models where there is public investment on the hardware and connectivity. there is open source in terms of uh, uh, software being available freely for people to share and our work has always focused on creating of open content so okay. using free software to create free content has been an important focus area of our work where we make teachers to create content so these if the public investment on hardware and connectivity is complemented by free software and open content we feel that the possibility of reaching it out to as many universally is uh, higher so that is what is going to be your focus over the next few years to make sure that digital technologies on green education is not something for the privileged but it is going to work for everybody and then the teacher decides when to use it and when not to use it so that also doesn't become another thing forced on the teacher